Uh, good morning. It's the uh, 7th of uh, April. And uh, uh, I just got a parcel. Uh, I got a box sent to me uh, by Speedpost from Hong Kong. Uh, keep the, I'll try to keep the long story short. Um, I think I bought this on the 17th or maybe 18th of 18th, 20th of uh, March. And uh, uh, no, maybe it's the 17th itself. Okay, whatever. Um, from a seller in Hong Kong via eBay. And uh, they sent it via uh, Hong Kong Post. Uh, it reached India, uh, I believe, on the 21st or 22nd. Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it's either on 21st or 22nd uh, in Bombay. And from Bombay, they sent it to the Cochin, uh, which is where I live, the uh, customs, because it's coming from abroad. All right, now here's how Indian bureaucracy works. <laughs> from the 23rd, it's it was sent to uh, the customs office in my city and uh, from then onwards up till yesterday it was in the customs office yes I know it's Easter weekend came up and all this stuff but uh, really Good Friday isn't really a, that big a holiday over here anyhow so I kept uh, calling up speed post I kept calling up trying to get the information I can see it uh, uh, in their website but all of us told us because it's a little more expensive than the previous package that I bought. They have to go through the arena. Uh, there is a duty paid. If you can see, I had to pay an extra 463 rupees as uh, postage due. I don't know why. And the and the box itself looks like they've like it went uh, 10 rounds with Mike Tyson at its peak and <laughs> lost. Uh, they did some kind of a pack uh, wrapping up back on it, but you can make out the packages. Uh, you know was kind of ripped here and there and they tried to stick it back up so Indian post Indian uh, government services are <laughs> so I had to pay an extra 463 just because of the price of this and the weight I guess so uh, lesson learned I'm not going to buy more than uh, one or two of this at a time so in order to um, in order for me uh, not to have to pay some extra money for it uh, and the other thing was um, the postman uh, well so this is how it went Indian speed post from Bombay to the customs office customs office back to the local post office over here which is uh, like you know right next to my apartment just walking five uh, not even five minutes just like a couple of minutes walking distance away from my apartment luckily so the guy come and I work 4 p.m. 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, just I was having lunch yesterday the guy the post of postman comes to my apartment and says uh, there is a package waiting for you you have to pay uh, that particular amount 463 and he gave me a receipt uh, he gave me a, a bill for it a receipt for it said uh, if this is something that uh, you have ordered and it's not a fake uh, sell for you uh, please come to the post office and collect it all right so since I couldn't go yesterday I had to wait till today morning I waited till up till 9 a.m. just had coffee didn't have uh, breakfast yet my breakfast is still lying on the table um, I went uh, there gave the re gave the uh, the bill the receipt uh, or whatever that they had given me the chit that says it's in my name and there was a confusion over there they didn't know if it was here the postman is on leave we're not really sure blah 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 so yeah finally one lady said asked me uh, what's my name and I said my name is so and so and she said okay uh, it's actually in the speed post and not in the parcel service I said whoop de do Thank you very much. So I've used scissors and my fingers to rip open the, um, in order to save a little bit of time to that scotch tape. Okay. So been waiting for it a few days, couple of weeks now. So let's open the first one. Okay. I had a little doubt. I thought it was a little lightweight, but okay. This is how they packed it and they're not really that big. So it helps. <sighs> well, let's get off this box. So, adding on to my collection of Star Trek starships from Eagle Moss, and I might even buy some others that are not from Eagle Moss. I've got three. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I wasn't actually planning on buying three at a time, but the thing is, I, uh, from, from time to time, I do some paid blogging, and uh, I'm not that lucky, I don't really get it uh, quite often, but I do get them, like, say, on an average, say, maybe 10 to 12 in a year. Sometimes I'm lucky I get a little bit paid more for it. So uh, what happened is uh, the uh, middle of March, I think around say the 12th or something, 
uh, I got an offer from a company to do some paid uh, blogging for them so I did it and they paid me uh, $50 uh, via PayPal and I used that $50 to buy this uh, yes the 463 rupees was extra so anyway I, I can't say no to it anyhow so Star Trek.com the official series so yes we've got not one not two but we have three Star Trek starships and these are highly anticipated from me so let's try to open them okay so which one shall we go first shall we go the series order or shall we go series and movies rather or should we go chronological order okay let's go chronological order. this one is in the middle so I'm going to take that first now, opening these packages are going to be <laughs> a little tough way I'm going to rip into the don't have the patience to do it cool and calmly like I normally did okay so spaceship number one we have captain Jonathan Archer's Enterprise as seen in the four seasons of the series Star Trek Enterprise and this is the can you see that focus 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 NX01 Enterprise all right captain by Jonathan Archer Oh, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> uh, bear with me, guys. And we have more scotch tape. I, I do love the way that they've actually packaged it uh, because I'm, for the time being, until I get a proper display, I am going to keep it in the in their covers. And this is hard to do with just one hand. This is the, uh, well, this may have been the last series to show on, on Star Trek, but this is the very first Enterprise. Looks very nice. Although, I would have thought this would be a little bit more thicker, kind of like the, uh, the other Enterprise, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So, if you've got faith of the heart, you will love this ship. <laughs> okay, so that's one. This is the now. When I was actually, uh, when I actually ordered this, I hadn't noticed, but uh, I then read upon it, so I, I realized uh, it's not the one that I actually thought it was. But still, yeah, it is the. It's something that I would definitely want in my collection. But um, this is the NCC dash seventeen oh one Enterprise, as seen in. Uh, this is the refit enterprise this is the one that's seen in uh, not in this television three uh, seasons of the television series of the TOS but <coughs> excuse me but this is the one that's seen in the first second and third movie of Star Trek so that's the motion picture um, the wrath of Khan and uh, the search for Spock right it gets destroyed in the end of search for Spock so this is the refit enterprise, which is a refit of the original, I mean, refit of the uh, of the enterprise that we have seen in the first three seasons of TOS. I actually thought uh, this would be the uh, the actual uh, model, uh, based on the actual model, that is the, the one that we see in the series, but this is Kirk's enterprise. And uh, also briefly captained by, what's his name, Decker? Yeah, and uh, Captain Spock as well. So. Yep, this is the uh, classic one. Ooh, I really like this. I didn't like the look of it uh, in some pictures, but it looks pretty good. It's almost grey and not white. I think in some of the images it looks more white, but... Yep. So that's the refit enterprise. Okay, if I hold it here, I think it's a little better. Okay, uh, this is not a proper camera. This is on my Blackberry phone. Um, it's an 8 megapixel camera, but still, it is on a phone and not really a not really a proper camera so I'll do uh, individual videos of them a little later and upload them as I go along and finally probably one of my favorite alien ships 
This is, I believe, the 22nd century uh, Klingon bird of prey. That's what they say in it. Uh, it doesn't say anything over here, I guess. So, yeah, let's go with that. It is a Klingon bird of prey, so. That's the, no, no, this is the one, yeah, this is the 24th century, I guess. So this is the one that you see in uh, Deep Space, uh, sorry, uh, Star Trek TNG, and yeah, and a lot of, in the other series as well, and in some of the movies. And yeah, this is one of my, especially like, you know, keeping it on images and wallpapers, I like this ship a lot. It's probably one of my favorite. Uh, is that another favorite? Alien ship. Uh, I do like the Andorian ship. Andorian battle cruiser. I think they call it. Oh yeah. <coughs> and this video is going over ten minutes. It's fine. Trekkies are gonna love it anyway. And um, yeah. So this is the Klingon battle cruiser. I am very tired though, and I'm pretty pretty hungry. So <laughs> bear with me, guys. Yeah. I love this ship a lot. If it wasn't for the Star Trek, uh, the Starfleet ships, probably this would be one of my f top two favorites at least. Top three favorites, maybe, yeah, top three favorites. So, yeah. Kind of reminds me of uh, one of those flying uh, dinosaurs. I don't, can't remember the names right now, but yeah, kind of looks like those. She looks menacing. She looks fierce. So, yeah, that's the unboxing of my three latest ships. Other than the um, Enterprise D, here we have the refit Enterprise uh, from mo the, mo the first three uh, Star Trek movies. You have uh, the Star Trek Enterprise Enterprise, uh, the NX-01, the first ship, I think, first ship to have the name Enterprise. Close up. And you have the Bird of Prey, the Klingon Bird of Prey. So, take care guys. Have a nice day. Bye.